Good afternoon, everyone. It's just me, your boy again, Sean Lewis, with Boot Camp Kennels. I'm here today to answer a few questions with a short interview that, that's been hosted by my wife about the kennels itself, Boot Camp Kennels, and any other questions in regards to Rockwallers. All right, Mr. Lewis. One of the um, constantly asked questions, our number one question is, how long have you been breeding dogs? Wow, that's a good question. It's uh, interesting, too. Uh, my dog breeding experience started way, way back. Uh, as most people already know, I'm a resident of New Orleans, Louisiana. I live here in Jonesboro now. Uh, but it started my first dog, probably it started about I was about 13 years old in New Orleans, Louisiana. My first dog was a, uh, a pit bull. I, I've always been a fan of pit bulls also, me and my brother. At one time we had the uh, largest uh, pit bull dog uh, <clears throat> uh, breeding kennels in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, um, a lot of folks knew about it, uh, boot camp, click kennels, not camp, but click kennels, and a very, very successful uh, kennel, but got away from that years ago because uh, the pit bull itself was basically getting a bad name for itself. I love those dogs, but because of the stereotype and everything, uh, just strayed away from that, and a few years after that, I, I found myself loving the uh, the larger uh, dog breed, the Mastiff, uh, with the uh, Rockwaller. Uh, beautiful dog, love the dog. So, uh, like I say, we can go all the way back to the 80s, the, the late 80s or whatever, and I've uh, been dealing with uh, Rockwaller itself. Okay. How long has Boot Camp Kennels been in existence? Boot Camp Kennels now have been in existence since uh, uh, eight years now, I think. Yeah, I think Boot Camp Kennels have been um, in existence for eight years now. Uh, like I say, I've... Uh, I've been living here in Georgia now uh, since 2000, 2001, I believe, when I came here. I was, I was here way before Katrina. Uh, but Boot Camp Kennels wasn't established then, but I did have Rock Wallet. But Boot Camp Kennels itself, uh, I think it's about eight years, and um proud of it, and um, ever since it's been established, been doing pretty good and uh, we have a lot of uh, repeating customers and we're just trying to uh, put out the best breed that we can and um, continue to um, uh, uh, produce good stock. Okay, and where do you see the future of Boot Camp Kennels going? Great, great. Um, the future of boot camp kennels. Um, I see the, the name of boot camp kennels just spreading all over uh, nation, nationwide. Uh, me, myself, here at this location, uh, I probably won't have no more than maybe six or seven dogs. I believe that's enough, but the branch itself will continue to uh, grow because we we already have a, a lot of other dogs on the outside of here that's still operating under Boot Camp Kennels. Uh, we also have uh, one of our females from previous litter that's down in uh, Florida right now. And she's, uh, she's uh, one of the best dogs that's on the Florida uh, police uh, force down there and um got the gentleman um we've just happy to to say that we have one of our dogs on that force down there they're doing real good and he's about to start 
his kennel also, I believe. Uh, and so, like I said, um, in a lot of other cities too, um, boot camp kennels are basically starting to branch off. So uh, here at boot camp kennels, that's our main objective, just to put out the best product we can and, and hopefully uh, the families of these dogs continue to uh, see the vision as well, as well as us. Thank you, Mr. Lewis, for the opportunity presented to ask questions and to get answers in regards to some of the most prevalent questions that are posed by mm -hmm. current customers, by um, future customers, and those that have purchased dogs from boot camp kennels in the past. We look forward to seeing some of the phenomenal dogs that boot camp kennels will present in the future. Yes, we do. Um, and again, I, uh, I always just wanna thank all of our customers. Uh, and, and again, uh, we appreciate all the likes and all the subscriptions. So, and also just a um, quick reminder when you're watching these videos or whatever, cause it helps the channel grow. Uh, continue to press that button for the likes and um, continue to uh, subscribe and share, share, share this video with other folks. And again, like we always say here at Boot Camp Kennels, peace and blessings. Thank you. Hey, good morning, family. Ha, I know you guys can't see me, but I just wanted to make a little quick video of what takes place of the cleaning and the sanitation part outside here in the kennels with the larger dogs with boot camp kennels. We made a video the other day in regards to the puppy care of the cleaning and the sanitizing, the floors and the area there. So I want to show you guys what also takes place here outside this happens every saturday morning total cleaning as you can see what's going on uh and socializing got a little tug of war and socializing going on right there you got one took advantage of the the cool surface but uh just a quick little video and again <laughs> it's just me your boy oh you know i got a little country in me so excuse my attire here this is my kennel attire. But this is what takes place every week. The total cleaning and everything. I, I wanted to be up front with you guys and show you not just the clean kennels all the time, but what exactly takes place. Uh, and I know a lot of people that say, oh, it's just clean or whatever. No, this is a job. Believe me, it is a job. All the rest of the brothers out there and sisters out there, who do have kennels, they understand also the preparation and the cleaning that takes place all the time. Again, a good breeder. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, that you see uncut what goes on here at Boot Camp Kennels. So until next time, I love y'all, peace and blessings.